Thank you so much for joining me during this prenatal quarantine class. <laughs> um, it will be a 30 minute prenatal general flow, um, depending on whatever trimester you're in. Please uh, refer back to any doctor's notes that um, they may have given you. Um, also, it's very important right now to listen to your body wherever you are today. Just meet yourself there. Um, try not to hold any expectation, no judgment, just you, your mat, maybe a blanket, and your breath. So for props today, um, I personally have a yoga blanket. I have two blocks with me and I have a large bolster. If these are props that you do not have with you right now, um, and you might be at home, please feel free to use anything around you. Um, a couch, an ottoman, um, couch cushions, bed pillows, um, anything you'd like. Also, walls are a great prop. <laughs> so, um, also a yoga strap if you're interested and you have one handy, that would work out very well. So to begin our class, let's come to a comfortable seated position. I like to prop my hips up on a blanket um, just to lift there. Taking a few deep inhales through the nose, exhale through the mouth, <sighs> sigh it out. Inhale through the nose, exhale. <sighs> Let's do three more of those breaths. Getting taller, <sighs> relaxing as you exhale, two more. <sighs> One more breath. And exhale, <sighs> very nice. Let's take a deep inhale, slightly drop the chin to raise the crown of the head taller. As you exhale, release the right ear towards your right shoulder. And I will be mirroring you all. Feel free to walk out the left fingertips to the side on your mat or a pillow. Breathe here for a moment, noticing the stretches down through the side of the neck and the shoulder. Feel free to close your eyes or soften your gaze. As we inhale, draw the head upright to center. Sitting tall, exhale, opposite ear relaxes towards opposite shoulder. Again, we have the option to walk out the right fingertips or leave them on the knee. See if you can keep the heart lifted, reaching forward. Shoulders relaxed. Breathing here, just you and your breath, nothing else matters. As you inhale, raise the head upright, sitting tall, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, just dropping the chin forward, staying here for a moment. And then if you'd like, feel free to incorporate movement side to side. So we're going up and around to one side, maybe on an inhale, and then exhale, sweeping down through the center over to the other side. Again, soften your gaze or close the eyes. Begin to tune into your breath. Bringing your focus deeper here. Doing this for quite a few breaths. And the movement is optional. We can stay with our head down to center. And part of this practice in just stretching through the neck and shoulders is patience. Giving ourselves permission to move slower, to breathe deeper, and to be more relaxed. <laughs> Let's take one more deep breath in and out. 
On an inhale, raising the head upright. Maybe adding a smile. On our next breath in, let's reach the right fingertips to the sky. Exhale, reaching over to the left. If we can, keeping the shoulder rotated open. Breathing in through the side of the body. Notice the ribs expand. See if you can take a slower and deeper breath here. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. I'm not sure if my ujjayi breath will come through on the microphone. On an inhale, return upright, deep breath. Exhale, release the palm. There's no rush. Inhale through left fingertips. Exhale, slowly reaching to right. Rotating heart to the sun. Shoulders relaxed, keeping the muscles of the face and the neck relaxed as well. Softening through the body. Inhaling to center, exhale the palm down. Let's bring the back of the right hand to the inside of your right knee. The other hand falls behind for support. Inhale to lengthen your seat. And as you exhale, gently press to the back of the hand, shining the heart to the left. Inhale to soften out of the twist, maybe turning forward slightly. And exhale to twist. One more time. Inhaling slowly, unwinding center, and exhale, opposite hand comes into the knee, twisting to the right. Continuing the inhale to soften, exhale to twist. And we're using the back of the hand as gentle leverage, as this is just an opening twist. On our next inhale, unwinding to center. Let's make our way onto the hands and the knees in a tabletop position. Depending on your surface, if you're on a carpet or if your floors are tile or concrete, maybe bringing a blanket underneath the knees or the wrists, maybe both for extra support here. Our shoulders stack above our wrists our hips above the knees, but let's create more space in the knees to make room for baby. So our knees can be wider than they might normally be. Take a nice breath in with a neutral spine. As you exhale, press into the fingertips, the outer edges of the palms, drive the belly button towards the sky, curl the upper back cat pose. When you're ready to inhale, Soften the belly towards the mat. Lift your gaze, lift your tailbone. Cow pose, soften shoulders. Exhale, round the back, cat pose. Drawing baby in. Use the breath, inhale, soften. Lift gaze, lift tailbone. Doing this for quite a few breaths. We're going to be here for a little bit. See if you can allow your body to relax. I highly recommend closing the eyes. This is a wonderful time for you to rekindle that experience. You, your breath, your energy, and your body. It's just you with you right now. Feel free to add any movement side to side. As you breathe, feel free to create circles. Exhaling through cat pose, rounding to one side, inhaling cat or cow, <laughs> exhaling to cat. If you do start creating circles, make sure to alternate sides, circling in the opposite direction, just to balance things out. 
And we're beginning with cat and cow as a way to warm up the spine. So just keeping that in mind, every posture, there's an intention. One more time. One big inhale, one deep exhale. Inhaling neutral spine in our table position. Now from here, we're gonna step the right foot forward, coming into a low lunge. Now in our lunge, we can have the hands on the hips, we can have the hands on a couch or anything around us. We can also bring the hands to a block. Or if you're comfortable in your lunge, let's bring the arms overhead. Taking a moment here. If we can, soften the shoulders. Keep the hands engaged, reaching towards the sky. And imagine or feel the hips shifting forward. Holding for one more breath. This is just allowing us to create more space in the hips, a place in the body where we often carry our stress. So just opening this up very gently, relaxed. Now we're going to turn towards the side of the mat. So we're gonna turn our knee and we're going to turn the foot as well. The toes will face the side of the mat, straightening the leg. On an inhale, let's reach the right arm towards the sky. On an exhale, reaching to the left. We can use our leg for support or a block or pillow. Again, creating space in the hip in our gate pose. On an inhale, return upright center, arms to reach out to the sides. Exhale, we're gonna reach the opposite arm over. Hand can come to a block or the mat. And here we can keep our foot planted or we can lift this left leg. Holding for a moment. Lowering the foot if it's not already there. Inhale, coming up to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale. These are slow breaths reaching to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale one more time on each side. And kind of creating a dance if you feel comfortable moving the arms, bending the elbows. Exhale to the right. Again, optional to lift the leg here, creating a nice side plank. Inhale to center. Let's bring the hands to the hips and bring our knees together. So as we're here, we can create a lot of space. Again, making room for baby. We wanna feel a stable foundation. Um, I'm gonna turn around just so you can see my hand placement. We are coming into a supported camel pose. So this is a slight back bend. We can bring our hands together with pinkies touching, or we can make half fists bending at the knuckles. And we're gonna bring these hands to the sacrum or the low back right above the tailbone right here. I like having an open palm for more support. Now in our camel pose, we're going to drive the elbows to reach towards each other. As you, as you begin to reach the elbows towards each other, notice the chest and the collarbones expanding, reach the heart towards the sky. Take a nice breath in. Gently pressing to the sacrum, elbows are reaching towards each other lifting the gaze towards the sky. Camel pose. Inhale, let's return upright. <sighs> Even that slight back bend will get me. Let's extend the right leg out to the side. Doing our opposite, our opposite lunge. So our left lunge. Bringing again any props that we need. Hands to the hips, overhead, or resting on props. Taking a few moments here. And noticing that our prenatal classes do seem to move a bit slower than uh, maybe a previous yoga class we've taken. 
but knowing that that is okay, accepting that this is where our practice is right now during our journey. Taking one more breath in our lunge. Again, imagining or feeling the hips drawing forward, drawing baby in slightly. Now slowly we're going to extend this leg forward, begin to turn to the side of the mat. Our toes will also face the same direction. Our hip should be somewhere directly over the knee. Inhaling the left arm to the sky, exhale, reaching to the right, gate pose. I like to hold our first one a little bit longer than the other repetitions, just so that we're warming up the inner thigh before we move faster and begin engaging different areas. On an inhale, reach upright, arms reach out to the sides, exhale to the left, Nice stretch through the ribs. Again, optional to lift this leg off of the mat. If we do lift the foot, flex the toes, press outward through your heel. Let's lower the foot. Inhale, arms raise. Exhale to the right. Slow breath, inhale slowly. Return to center, exhale to the left. Inhale, raise, exhale, right, last time. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, raising up, beautiful. Now removing a blanket if we have it directly underneath us. We're coming into a squat position known as garland pose, malasana. I like to utilize two blocks. Feel free to um, use no blocks. You can use one, two, or a nice thick pillow or two to come under the sit bones. So making our way into this position, ultimately we are in a squat. Uh, our toes are pointed outward and our feet are in a very wide stance, creating space for baby, creating space for us to feel um, stable and grounded. Bring the prayers to touch at heart center. And if we can, while maintaining a straight spine, we're going to bring the elbows to rest on top of the knees. Or if we're in a full squat, we're going to bring the knees, the elbows inside of the knees. So relaxing here. And I'll turn to the side just so you can see my spine lengthened here. Fix your gaze somewhere in front of you, finding a focal point or drishti. Soften your eyelids, your jaw, your forehead. If we are utilizing a prop underneath the sit bones, see if you can relax this band from the inner to outer hip, as well as this area in front of your ankle. Ultimately, I would like you to be as relaxed as possible. So taking a few more breaths. There are a couple reasons I like to incorporate this posture, um, usually multiple times in our prenatal practices together. One of the reasons is that this is a very natural position for human beings. Um, all, another reason is that this is a very natural birthing position for women. So practicing this posture can help allow our body and our spirit to know that we're, when we're in this position, we're safe, we're comfortable, and it will help um, keep us at ease emotionally and mentally during the birthing process. All right, and finding our way to a standing position, removing any blocks or, or pillows from under us. We're going to come to the left side of the mat. 
Very nice. And I'm gonna to turn towards you, but you can face any direction that you'd like. We're coming into tree pose. So turning your right toes to the side, lift the heel. The hands can be on the hips or prayer here. And we're going to bring the sole of the foot to the ankle. If this feels very unstable already, you can bring your hand to a wall or you can walk over to a wall, anything near you. The wall is an amazing prop. So having your hands wherever you'd like, if you feel comfortable lifting the toe off of the mat, you can bring it to the calf below the knee or the inner thigh above the knee. We do want to avoid direct pressure on the knee here. So taking a minimum of five breaths, finding your focal point again. I prefer somewhere um, a little bit in front of me distanced, somewhere low. But finding what works for you, keeping the heart open, shoulders gently pressed back. And knowing that if you don't have amazing balance today, it's perfectly normal. Um, during our pregnancy journey, it's very uh, common for us to lose things like our balance. Um, we become fatigued more easily. These are natural. So accepting where you are today, noticing if you can balance very well or not as easily on this side, and we can compare it to the other side. Once we have finished that fifth breath, let's relax the foot down, coming into mountain pose. So balancing out the weight evenly between both feet, let's take a moment here in our mountain pose to, uh, before we continue with our sequence. Let's inhale the shoulders, raise towards the ears. Exhale, roll them down and back. Shine the palms forward. Soften the knees slightly. If we can, feel the engagement through the center of the body. If we have practiced Kegels before, um, strengthening our pelvic floor just in this moment. And feel free to close your eyes, soften your gaze. And for a moment, I'd like you to recognize how you're feeling or recognize who you are. A beautiful, strong, capable woman, a creator of life. Very important to remember. You are creating a miracle within you and you are a miracle yourself. <sighs> Knowing that in your heart. So let's continue with our flow. So turning back this way, we're gonna have our left foot forward, stepping back with our right, it can be a big step or small step. We're coming into a warrior two position. Front knee is bent, arms reach out to the sides. Now typically, in a past yoga class, we might notice that our heel lines up through the arch of the back foot in sort of a T position. In prenatal yoga, we might heel toe the front foot out to the side to create more um, of a parallel line that our feet will create. This will create more space for a baby and be more stable. We're going to be adding a little bit of movement with our breath, so we definitely wanna have a stable footing here. Arms reaching out to the sides, inhale, exhale, raise the arms overhead, straighten the front leg. Inhale, exhale, straighten and lift. Three more at your own pace. We can take a deep warrior two or we can have a shorter posture. Two more. Inhale, warrior two, and hold. Shoulders relax. Arms and hands are reaching out actively, pressing through the outer edge of that back foot, finding our center of gravity here. Deep breath in, one more. Exhale, let's straighten the front leg. Turn the toes to the side of the mat. Bringing the hands to the hips. And let's 
Find a comfortable stance here. The feet are very wide. Turn your toes outward away from each other. Deep breath in, sitting, standing tall. Exhale, we're gonna bend the knees and allow the sit bones to come directly between the heels. From here, feel free to keep the hands on the hips or we can bring the arms up, bending at the elbows, goddess pose. For all of my goddesses out there. Breathing here. And this can be a very deep squat or it can be a very short, minimal squat. Meet yourself where you are. I can't stress that enough. I'm always at a smile. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Breathing here. On an exhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, standing star pose. Inhale, bending knees and elbows. Slow breaths, exhale, straighten, star pose. Three more. Last one. Very nice. Turning your left toes to the side of the mat. The right toes will come to the, the back of the mat, the back, the front. Reach the arms out to each side. Bend into that front knee. Opposite warrior two. Deep breath in, holding for a moment. Notice if you feel the fire or the tapas building in the shoulders and the arms. So we're not only getting a leg workout, but we're working our core, we're working the arms, the shoulders, the chest. Deep breath in, exhale, straighten legs, lift arms. Inhale, bending, exhale, lift and straighten. Three more. Two. And one, last one. Slow breaths. Inhale, bending into the knee, warrior two. Hold for one more breath, full inhale. And full exhale. Now stepping to the back of the mat, coming into our opposite tree pose. I will turn towards you again. So we're just coming to the other side, uh, bringing the weight into the front of your right foot, maybe spreading the toes. When you're ready, Turning the left toes to the side, lift the heel, bring the sole of the foot to the ankle. I like to just start this way, little baby steps. Then feel free to lift the leg, calf, or inner thigh. Now, if you'd like to get wild with it, you can bring the arms overhead, or we can bring the arms out. If you have music at home, um, feel free to dance to the music. Nice little dancing tree. Notice if we begin tensing up in the jaw, if we're scrunching our forehead, if we're getting very serious and we're tightening up, let's ah, relax out of that. Two more breaths. Noticing if the side is different than the other side. And finishing your last breath. Coming to mountain pose, releasing that foot. Inhale, shoulders rise towards the ears. Exhale, roll them down and back, shine your palms forward. Keep the knees soft, avoiding locking them here. Engage through your core and your pelvic floor. Remembering our message from earlier. You are a creator of life. You are strong. You are capable. And think of any other words that come to mind. You are caring, loving, kind. You're, you might already be a mother, sister, daughter. <sighs> now let's come back 
to heel toe the feet wider than hip distance, turn your toes outward, and slowly we're gonna find our way down to garland pose, malasana. So again, if you feel comfortable just in the squat, if not, bringing a block or two underneath the sit bones. Bringing the prayer to heart center, elbows can rest on top of the knees or pressing gently to the inside of the knees. Finding your point of focus, allowing the body to soften. And if this begins to feel uncomfortable, um, just removing yourself from this position, just sitting onto the mat legs out in front of you, or feel free to move around and see what works best for your feet and your leg placement. One more inhale and exhale. Removing any uh, props from underneath us, we're coming to the sit bones on the mat. So, <clears throat> Let's extend the left leg out in front of us. The right sole of the foot will come to the inner thigh or anywhere in this general area. Um, I like to bring this leg out to the side so we can again create space for baby here. Take a nice breath in, keep this knee soft, the thigh is soft as well. Exhale, gently walking the hands forward. One leg forward fold. If we can, keeping the spine straight. Heart reaches forward, broaden through the collarbones and the chest. If you have a yoga strap, a blanket, a t-shirt available, you can loop that around the ball of the foot and you can use that as gentle leverage to pull your body forward. And we never want to feel any pain in our stretches. We want to reach a comfortable edge where we're feeling challenged. We can feel a nice deep stretch where it's comfortable, but never anything in pain or any discomfort. So finding our edge. On an inhale, walking the hands back towards your body, coming upright. Let's bring the feet to touch in front of us, butterfly pose. And let's bring the outer edges of the feet to touch and let's open the inside of the foot as if we're opening a book. And if you feel comfortable doing so, let's begin massaging the feet here. Just straight through the center of the foot, maybe the ball of the feet or the toes. Just giving yourself a little love here. Nice little massage. <sighs> and if you ever practice this class with a friend or a family member, a partner, this would always be a wonderful time for that person if they feel comfortable to give you maybe a head rub or do this foot rub for you. There's perks to pregnancy. <laughs> All right, so finishing off our butterfly pose, let's extend the right leg out, left sole of the foot comes in. Take a nice deep breath to lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk fingertips forward. Opposite, one leg forward fold. Brought in through collarbones, heart reaches forward. Slow breaths here. Finding our edge, avoiding discomfort. And feel free to carry these stretches on after our class has ended. 
Um, these are wonderful stretches that you can do anywhere, um, at a park, at a gym, at home. Again, using ultimately anything as a prop. Inhale, walking hands back towards the body, sitting upright. Very nice. So, crossing the feet in easy pose or sukhasana. Feel free to bring pillows or blocks underneath the knees. We're going to practice a breathing technique or pranayama for a moment. I like to have the blocks or pillows here. This will take any pressure out of the hips. Uh, when we sit in our easy pose too long, we begin tightening up in the hips. So allowing our bodies to relax. Feel free to close your eyes, soften your gaze. Begin tuning into your breath. Noticing a longer inhale and exhale. Now imagine that there is a rose petal resting between the lips to create just the slightest opening. Inhaling through the nose as you exhale, imagine that you are blowing out a golden thread into the distance. With each breath, the golden thread goes further and further into the distance. Deep in your breath to see how far you can blow this golden thread. I like to imagine that I'm in a field of golden wheat swaying in the wind. And I send my golden thread over the field of grain. Blue sky above me, a garden surrounding me. Feel free to imagine the beach. Any other visualization that feels most comforting. Notice your breath gradually lengthen. You begin feeling relaxed, peaceful. At ease. Continue imagining this golden thread. Soften the temples, the eyelids, the cheeks. Feeling the sense of calm and peace travel down through the chest and shoulders, the arms, the belly, through the hips and the legs. Thank you. 
As I look at the time, we are past um, past our class time. We are actually at 1.10. So that was a 40 minute class. I do apologize for going over, um, over time. So please, uh, I hope you liked the class today, our prenatal class. If you feel very relaxed right now and you're familiar with Savasana, please feel free to lay on the side or lay in a reclined position. Um, depending on your trimester. I hope you enjoyed it again. I hope to see all of you in the near future after um, everything has settled down. I really look forward to seeing your smiling faces again, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Namaste.